Tell me if you agree with this. At fertilization, the sperm and the egg meet, the chromosomes of the mother and the chromosomes of the father merge into a unique chromosomal makeup. True or false? Yes. Okay. Tr- and so yes. that DNA I mean... is not the mother's or the father's. And guess what is determined on day one? Eye color, gender. Did you know this? On day one. Yes, I know this. Okay. So yes. what I'm saying is this, a literal, you know, bacteria or a leech or something like that doesn't have eye color determined, doesn't have gender determined. The thing is this, it is a human species and it will continue to grow and develop unless it is terminated and cut off. In other words, if there's no external interference, that little zygote will grow all the way up on, and it will grow up to have romance and it will go to college and it will have memories. It will enjoy the entire human experience unless its lifespan is cut short. The lifespan has begun. That's my point. The existence of a human life is defined by a certain amount of brain function, which has been determined to be present at 24 weeks. So what you are describing is a living thing, not a human life. A human it's something can be living and can still not be a life. Is it and a so human when living you say thing? You're, I mean, it's, yes, it's human. The question isn't whether it's human, it's whether it's a human life. And the okay. life does not exist until so, 24 weeks. That's actually helpful c- categorization. So I fundamentally don't think that we should kill living human beings. 